Alright, hello and welcome back to MyCustomXbox.com's uh, tutorial on how to paint an urban camo controller. This is going to be one of the more advanced controllers that we're going to be using. We just wanted to show you this from the start and exactly how it works. This particular job is going to require, uh, we're going to be using the Vinyl Fabric Spray by Dupacolor. And we're going to be using four colors. We're going to start off with white. This is an act. This is an actual, like, really old controller. It's been completely washed and prepped, as we've shown in the other videos. And now we're going to start by just putting a dusting layer on it with this white. And you want to make sure you shake your can real good. And uh, the most important pieces that we're going to want to focus on are definitely the, the face and the back. And as you can see here, the spraying is very, very light, if you can tell by the blue tape below how much paint is getting on there. This is especially critical with the vinyl dye. Um, we have a, a lot of paint that's gonna go on this particular controller because we're gonna be doing four colors, so there's gonna be lots of layers. And especially when you do an advanced camouflage like this, um, it gets a little bit tough. So um, you wanna make sure your base coats are particularly light. And we have an indicator piece on this one which is actually the bottom uh, of the controller, which is gray. That's the one that we can tell how much paint we're getting on everything. And you know, you don't want to spray too much, especially in the beginning, because this dusting coat is going to allow us to get everything else to stick, all the other paint coats to stick to it. So this, this bottom piece right here can definitely help us be an indicator on how much paint we're getting on there. And you can see, according to that, that we haven't sprayed much paint on it. And that's really, really good. You want to get the paint um, laid down gently at first. And then as we go through more layers and things like that, then we get the, the coats thicker. But lighter coats, especially with the vinyl paint, is very, very crucial. It's so hard to work with and it runs so easily. So this is about all we're going to do for the first coat. We're going to let it dry and then we're going to come back and do a second coat. All right, I don't want to waste too much time on this, so we're just going to do three coats, very light, like the first one. I've sped the video up here just so you guys can see that, yes, it's happening. This is the second coat. Uh, once again, look at the gray piece, and you'll be all right. base coat, and we've done that in white. We're going to do an urban camo. And what we want to do now <clears throat> is actually apply some of the sticker sets. Um, because on this camouflage controller, we're going to try and wrap a lot of it. So I've gone ahead and cut out some stickers like we've talked about before on the, pay, uh, on the tape here. And uh, we'll just start off with one of them right here. You don't want to rip them when you come out because you're going to have all the back and forth. You want to get that sticker out. If you like to play Call of Duty, you should be careful because when Oak Tree gets his controller back here, he's going to be deadly. Because you won't be able to see him. Even though I don't think they had urban camo back in World War II. We'll save the history lesson for later. So right now we're doing a four color camo. So I'm just trying to piece together different pieces of camouflage. Anything that is covered you know, will be white or gray or silver or black. Um, we're gonna start off with one color and then go from there. So as you can see, we've we started doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply all the stickers and then turn the uh, video back on. 
All right, so here we are, and we have masked off everything that we're going to keep white on this controller. You can notice I've been wearing gloves, and I just want to point out it's really important at this stage that you do wear your vinyl gloves simply because we are working with painted material that's going to get paint on top of it. So whenever you touch your controller after that first coat, you definitely want to have uh, gloves on. Now, what, what I'm doing here is because we're painting a controller all together and we haven't shown you this particular set yet, uh, before what we want to do is we actually want to hang it so that we can you know rotate it around and get paint on every single angle without actually touching any of the controller so what I like to use is a pair out of a cat5 cable just because we have lots of it laying around and strip one pair out and the good thing about cat5 versus string or something like that is that it's actually very uh, pliable like you can move it in different directions and and make that stick and sometimes it's a little bit of a bugger to get in there uh, as it was in this controller but um, it's definitely doable you might want to do this part before you put the controller together uh, getting it to come out it tends to be a little tricky but if you have a handy dandy screwdriver without uh, messing up the paint job you want to make sure you grab it and like right here I just took the blade of the screwdriver and my thumb pressed it together and and pulled up and voila We've got the string through, and now we've got something that we can hang this on uh, to do all the remaining layers of paint. One thing I would like to point out is that in between each of these layers, you want to you wanna wait at least, I, I repeat this, at least 24 hours for the paint to dry before you ever apply any kind of mask on it. A minimum of 24 hours. The longer you can wait, the less the mask will affect the paint. But there we go. We've got a little contraption, and we'll start on the next part. All right, so I wanted to show everybody what it looks like after we have our first coat of silver on it. As you can see, this is pretty much like a dusting, just like the first coat. All the coats of paint will go on exactly the same way. The real technique comes in the masking in this kind of a controller. So first coat, once again, you can see the blue, very light because there's not much silver on it. You want to make sure that that paint gets down pretty decently, and then our next second and third coat on this will bring out the silver, and uh, we'll really start to see it shine. So here we are at stage three after we've done our you know, three coats of silver. We've got our masks still on there. We're not going to remove those. And what we are going to do is we're going to try and you know do the four colors so we get this camouflage. We want a dark gray and a black on here. That's uh, not too hard to do, but it does take some advanced techniques. There's two different options we have. The first one is that we can cut out lots more of these time-consuming uh, stickers that we could do like we've done in the past. And that would just be, you know, the same thing. Make your patterns, trace them, cut them out. Or uh, a new advanced technique we'd like to introduce in this video that's actually pretty good is using a liquid mask. And liquid mask is great for things like camouflage or lettering if you're really good with a, a paintbrush because it's pretty much free form. And this is the Bob Divey, uh, Dively, I think, uh, aircraft model mask. And really good stuff. Parma also makes some. It's available on Amazon. We'll uh, put up all the information on the website about where to get this. Uh, these are some just basic epoxy brushes that we use. You're going to want some just stuff that's cheap that you could throw away because you're going to ruin the brushes. And we just want to open it up and start painting. And the, the theory right here is that you want to keep in mind is whatever you paint with the mask is going to remain silver. So we, you know, we want to make sure that we get some silver in this camouflage and you can kind of look at the drawing below and see that, you know, the silver in, in that picture would be the light gray. Uh, you don't have to follow everything exactly, but just start painting and it usually works out really well. Um, you want to put it on pretty thick and make sure that uh, you let it dry uh, three to, like I said, three to four coats of this and I'll show you what it looks like in a second once it dries. Just, you know, start painting it and trust me, it'll turn out good. And just as I promised, I just wanted to show you what this looks like when it's dried. Notice I'm not touching it with my bare hands. But you can see it turns almost translucent. You can't really see it. It's really good to have lots of it on there. Uh, it is pretty much see-through, and it's really hard to see on silver. But you get the general idea. We'll have the next uh, steps in part two.